Welcome back YouTube family. We are here once again and today is a little bit more special because it is our third year anniversary. Alright. <laughs> we made it. Three years. And so today we're going to do a couples quiz. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my man William Teller who really uh, kind of gave us this idea but we already had it in the works. But the fact that he brought it to our attention just was confirmation that we should do it. So um, how the game goes is someone, a special guest, we're not going to, but a special guest is here to read the questions to us. We're going to close our eyes and based on the answer of that question, Willie or Desiree will be pointing. We won't know each other's answers. You'll know. We'll go through and we'll review it and we'll discuss our disagreements. Everybody ready? Yes. All right. <laughs> First question. Question one. Who initiate the first kiss? Number two, who is the most romantic? Number three, who spends the most? Number four, who is the most outgoing? Number five, who is the funniest? Number six, who is the most patient? <laughs> Number seven, who said I love you first? <laughs> Number eight, who takes the longest to get ready? Number nine, who is more likely to cry during a movie? Number ten, who tells the best stories? Number 11, who is more likely to be spoiled, your kids? Number 12, who is multitasker? Number 13, who is perfectionist? <laughs> Number 14, who is the most detailed? Number 15, who likes to hear I love you the most? Number 16, who apologized first after a fight? <laughs> who is the grumpiest in the morning? Number 18, who is the biggest baby when they are sick? Number 19, who likes staying home the most? Number 20, who is more likely to yield? Number 21, who is the better kisser? 22, who is the most emotional? 23, who is most likely to get lost? 24, who is more of the night owl? 25, who does Ava take after the most? 26, who is more likely to go to jail for defending the other person? 27, who is the messiest eater? 28, who is most likely to go to bat for the other person? 29, who is the most adventurous? 30, who is always right? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we are going to stop for a moment, but we're going to return and we're going to see how we did on this couples quiz. Yeah. <laughs> see you in just a sec. We'll see you soon. <laughs> and we are officially back. <laughs> so we just took some time to review all of the questions and we didn't do half bad did we babe no we got 27 out of 30 um two of them we kind of agreed on but we want to kind of talk about so yeah we're gonna go be going over five questions so i would like to say a special thank you to my madre 
my mommy. She actually was the one that was reading those questions, so thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so the first question we disagreed on is number 16. Okay. Who apologizes first after a fight? So I feel like I do. That's just me because I'm always wanting to reconcile. I'm always wanting to not be in a fight to begin with. So I'm just always willing to. But I, I think that sometimes we like to get our point across too. But I think we just, I mean, I'm glad we keep respectful at it. But I just believe in my perspective that I apologize first. Maybe not all the time, but I just feel like I do. <laughs> Very interesting. Well, clearly, we did not agree on that one in particular. I actually happen to be the one to apologize first. She's always right. And <laughs> so. the reason being is because I really don't like for our atmosphere to be tainted, like, with negativity. So before the sun goes down... Um, I always apologize to my husband, and then, of course, he apologizes as well, because I just feel like it's just the best thing, because we don't want to hold on to those things, or go to bed angry with one another, or upset with one another, because you just never know what's going to happen from day to day. So. Big no-no. Yeah. Lay down and don't wake up, and Absolutely. the last thing they remember is that. Yeah. So, it's just best not to let the sun go down on your wrath, ever. Exactly. You don't yeah. want to regret anything yeah. at all. And we all can be guilty of that. I know I've tried to do that before, mm -hmm. you know, and that's not my thing. Mm -hmm. So, experience. It's all yeah. So, yeah, it's okay to be the first one to apologize in your relationship. What about the bigger picture? Exactly. So, 17, who is the grumpiest in the morning? Hmm. So, my husband, I was really shocked when I looked at the film that he actually pointed at himself. Because I can honestly say, I feel like I'm the grumpiest in the morning. And the reason being, all you mommies out there can relate. I don't get much sleep. So in the mornings, I'm not my best self. <laughs> so that's why I felt like I was the grumpiest. And I feel like he's more of like, I don't know, more relaxed and everything. Okay, so I think we looked at the question differently. <laughs> Who gets grumpiest the most? Is probably the real context of the question, meaning who's who's more likely to get grumpy in the morning, which I would agree would be my wife. But the way I was seeing it is who can get the grumpiest. And I think for me, oh. I was just saying that if I'm grumpy in the morning, I'm not nice. And it's, you know, it's like I said, I, I work early, early in the morning, and with sometimes with the baby, sometimes she go to sleep real, real late, sometimes 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. So if I'm coming in on two or three hours, I might snap. So that's what I was saying. It's not most likely that I would be grumpy, but I can get grumpy. And that's what I was, that's my perspective on that. Mm, See? That's interesting. But she's always right, so what she says. <laughs> All right, so 28. Okay. We disagreed on who is most likely to go to bat for the other person. Now, I said to both of us, mm -hmm. and Desiree said, well, she's going to let you know what she said. But I said to both of us because I feel like we both defend each other. And I feel like in a relationship, that person's supposed to have your back no matter what. So, um, plus, I don't talk about my wife to nobody i mean if i talk if i talk about anything that concerns or whatever i talk to her about it you know so yeah. i don't feel i feel like i go to bat if anybody says anything negative or has any thoughts or whatever i fight it right away and that's so to me i go to bat and i know she does the same mm -hmm. so that's why i said we both go to bat and uh, the question was who is most likely to go to bat we're both most likely i just think it's both I like the explanation. Well, for me, I feel like I'm the one that goes to bat all the time. Like, I don't care who you are, what you are, whatever. Like, you're not going to disrespect my husband. So, for me, I feel like I go to bat for him. Even with people, like, that are out there that has, like, no coexistence with us. Like, I just don't stand for, like, disrespect or anything. So, that's why I said I feel like I go to bat for him, literally, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> she, what she said. What she said. Always right. Always. 
Okay, so we had um, two questions that we agreed on, mm-hmm. and we said both, but we wanted to elaborate on those questions. Yes. All right, so the first question. Okay. So this one was, and you probably were wondering what we were doing when we were motioning like this. Who initiated the first kiss? We couldn't really point at either or um, because actually our first kiss was was actually on our wedding day. So no one really initiated it. So that's why we did that. So we hope that we didn't confuse you. That's why we wanted to go back and explain what that meant when we gestured like that. Yeah, first kiss was when we got married. So yeah. Didn't touch her lips. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then um, 21, who is the better kisser? Mm. All right. So mm-hmm. this one, I think I think we just, yeah, we, we, were we? Yeah, we're actually great. You said you were, and I said we both were. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you want to go first? Yeah, so with that um, being said, I feel like ultimately we both actually are wonderful kissers. Clearly, you see the chemistry. <laughs> but yeah, but the thing. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but no, um, seriously though, I feel like most times though, I kind of like um, set the tone or set the atmosphere <sighs> for that wonderful kiss that's about to happen. So that's why I initially was like pointing at myself and I was pointing at him. Like, yeah, I feel like it's it's a uh, it's a team effort. It's a team effort. So, so we're both wonderful kissers. But yeah, I feel like I, I'm the one that, you know, sets set the tone, sets the mood. So. I, I mean, I agree. <laughs> okay? I agree. The reason why I said both of us is because she has her way of kissing that is absolutely exceptional. I enjoy it. And I have my way of kissing with my huge lips. And for me... I love, 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 love. And for me, <laughs> I feel like I'm good in my lane. And Desiree's good in her lane. And I just think together we make the best kisser. Kiss. Yeah. Really. So absolutely. That's just my perspective. But like I said, at the end of the day, she's always right. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys could see our shirts that well in the camera, but his says Mr. Right and mine says Mrs. Always Right. And I did take a peek at the end there. Looks like my hubby pointed at me that I'm always right, and um, I'm kind of feeling that. Okay, so <laughs> I'm feeling some type of way because she just said that. Uh oh, should have been quiet about that. All right, <laughs> we got to get up out of here, y'all. Love y'all, <laughs> love y'all, love y'all. We got much, much more in store for you. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new to our channel, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like this video, give us a comment. If you have more questions, please continue to give us questions. We are looking forward to doing the next one, and we have a special video in store. We're not going to tell you just yet what it's about or what it is. It's a surprise, Mm -hmm. but stay tuned. That's why you need to subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That's why you need to subscribe, because when that drops, when we drop that banger... (laughs) You're going to wish. You know. Share this video with everyone, with your family members, um, with friends, whomever. Like, please share the wealth, share the wealth, share the wealth. Yeah. Yeah. So we just thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for coming. This was fun. Yeah, it was. This was fun. Yeah. So hopefully you learn more about us and we learn more about each other. Mm-hmm. We hope you were entertained. I mean, I hope I mean it we did get you. 27 out of 30 right. That's 90%. I think that's better than most people. That says a lot about our marriage. That's so. right. Three years and counting. That's right. Forever to go. Forever to go. <laughs> All right. I love you too. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you in the next video. God right. bless you.